Flakes to the north on Tuesday, but to the rest of the area looking pretty dry. And then we should have a dry day on Wednesday, which will likely be one of our nicest days in the forecast. Thankfully, seasonal temperatures do look like they are going to return. That'll be later this week where we'll jump back into the 60s. Now we take a look at the wind tracker over the next couple of days, and these winds are going to be moving into the windy category. You can see by the red uh, figure there. Uh, tonight's winds from the northwest, 20 to 35 miles per hour. That means we will have gusts of 40 miles per hour or greater. On Tuesday, much the same. It shifts from the northwest to the north-northwest, and that's going to bring in some lake effect snow that we'll talk about here in just a second. That north-northwesterly wind, 20 to 30. Thankfully, by Wednesday, it should lighten down into light winds out of the north of 5 to 10. And after that, southerly winds brings in that warmer air. Now we take a look at the satellite radar picture, and you can see that uh, while we do have the winds out of the north, we're not seeing too much lake effect activity at this time. There is a little bit of drizzle moving through the central part of Ashland and Iron County. You can see right around the Mellon area, but overall we're looking pretty dry for this evening. As we take a look at the future track forecast, however, you might notice there is a little bit of snow on the map here. So this evening could see a few flakes and flurries, especially up in the north woods, and that's going to continue into tomorrow as we do have those very strong northerly winds. You can see throughout the daytime hours on Tuesday, pretty consistent lake effect snow here, but you'll notice as you travel south of Rhinelander, we're really not looking at much. Still a pretty cloudy day out there though tomorrow, and we'll once, event, uh, once again, I might say, be on the cool side. Heading into Tuesday evening, it starts to dissipate out there, and then we'll move into mostly dry conditions for Wednesday. The nice thing about Wednesday is not only will it be a few degrees warmer, the wind should die down, but we'll actually see a little bit of sunshine. Not going to be a bluebird day by any means, but at least partly cloudy skies here by the afternoon. Our snow potential from tonight through Tuesday, we're looking at one to three inches nearby the northern Wisconsin border. Those areas under the winter weather advisory, Ashland Iron, Vilas, Forest, and Florence County. As you travel south of Eagle River, we're just looking at a trace to an inch, but don't be surprised to see a couple of flakes, even if you are around the Wausau area. Now tonight we drop down to 33 degrees, gusty winds and that snowfall up in the north woods. Northwest winds 20 to 35. Forecast high tomorrow showing a little bit of sunshine. That's mainly for the southern part of the state. Temperatures once again not too warm out there. 46 degrees. Northwest winds turning north 20 to 30. Our seven day forecast is going to warm up as we move forward. Wednesday not bad. Partly cloudy skies finally dry. High of 58. 63 degrees on Thursday with a chance of rainfall late. But most of the daytime hours should be dry. Chance of an isolated shower storm on Friday. Breezy at 62. 60s for the weekend as well as we are looking at uh, a nice Ice conditions shaping up into next week and reminder snow melt contest ends tomorrow so make sure you enter at wow.com slash contest.